Hi, welcome to this video. We are working on Article Linux 6.9.1. It's going to be released officially on the 15th July, but you know Article Linux is special. We have the Article Linux B. So build it yourself so you can have it now if you follow the tutorials online on articlinuxd.com. There you can build it yourself and you have it right now. Or you wait for us and the 15th July it will be on SourceForge and you'll get Article Linux and Article Linux D. Okay, this video is the move between 6.8.2 to 6.9.1 because Arch in essence is a rolling release. Since Arch is rolling, Article Linux is rolling too. So there's no need to do a clean installation, only if you want to. If you have the need, if you have experimented too much, that you say, okay, let's start again. And the best way to start again is just a clean install. All right, so this is my host system, right? And what I've uh, prepared already is Article Linux 6.8.2. Set it all up. There are lots of tutorials how to set it up and how to install VirtualBox. And it's running already. So Control F and it's maximalized, it's full screen. And this is version 6.8.2. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the last six weeks. What did we do the last six weeks? What changed? And let's migrate or update or upgrade together with you till we have 6.9.1, till we can change these figures up here. Well, first of all, there were like always always some difficulties so let's have a check and see what we should do 800 900 uh, 890 megabytes to install so you can apply here or you can do it via the system here we have well what you should know and you know surely by now that we have 90 percent or so is coming from arch repos that's wrong i guess enter okay so let me finish my sentence or not why finish a sentence when i can show you so while this is downloading it's actually upgrade of 70 megabytes can you believe this 953 megabytes is downloaded 3.5 gigabyte is installed but actually we don't have 17 megabyte more. <laughs> That's arch for you. So I wanted to go to this one, Arch Linux Hello. So what we're doing now is updating the part that's all red. This part is what we update now and the smaller part of Arco. So not the AOR, that's something else. So 90% is just arch. And all the rest, 3% is Arco and 7% is AUR. So everything but AUR. That's being updated right now. It will take a while, so I'm going to pause the video here. The installation has finished. In here somewhere we saw that there is a new kernel. So your reflex is to reboot always. So let the new kernel kick in, see if everything works, and check out the new system. Okay, booting back in. Seen enough of this wallpaper, so I'm going to press Alt T. It's trashed. So this is Variety. There are lots of tutorials about Variety, this application here. And you can also use these buttons because this one I don't like. Alt T is a trash again and Alt N is the next one and trash and next and trash and next and so on. So I'll find a nice one. Okay, so we've done our updates. Let's do this again. Just to be sure, that's one of our issues we had in June, right? Remember NeoFetch all scrambled up everybody saying, whoa, what's this? My computer is broken or something like that. And that's, it gave this feeling. Okay, let's fix this first. 
what do we do? We go to Control H, and we actually should first go to where we always go and what we always put on the side. So get this scale folder and put it here. Because in the etc scale are all the hidden files and folders and also the folder for NeoFetch. It's in here, the new data, the new configuration 5.0. An update has come in and we need to adapt, we need to follow. Control A selects everything, Control C copies everything, go to your home directory, Control V pastes everything. Of course, it says, hey, you have all these things already, replace all. Now NeoFetch is not solved in this manner. Uh, it's not solved at all. Yeah, you know by now that Plank is it's normal, that Plank looks like that. It hates that you do that to him. So restart it. So what we need to do for NeoFetch is go to NeoFetch and the developer has renamed the configuration file. It's no longer config and config backup. It's now config.dot config.conf and config backup.conf. So this is the same. So if something goes wrong, you have a backup. So this is the one that kicks in when you delete these two. And then we have another issue in mid-May, uh, mid-May, mid-June or something like that. There was an update of LSB release. It's an application that tells us and analyzes where it is and says, hey, you're an Arch. So this is the Arch logo and it says, this application is arch rolling. And if you just saw the picture earlier on, that's true, right? 90% of the packages are arch. But if you would like to have our ASCII Arco Linux logo back, we need to do something. And I always do it in graphical. So if you have file system, etc and so on, LSB release, that's the one you open it. But maybe let's do this one via terminal. Now you see something else. And then etc lsb release. And here you see that the distribution ID is arch. And arch rolling, you see. That's where the name comes from. So I say Arco Linux. And forget about the rolling. We want to end in version 6.9.1 that's where I will end up and the same applies for description it's actually Arco Linux and down here we have all these letters what we need to press is Control X save modified buffer yes or no yes please and file name to file name to write to that one and that's it so don't forget to put sudo in front of it, otherwise you can't write. It's a protected part of your system. Okay, clear, new fetch, and there is it. It is, and we see also the name is correct, Arco Linux 6.9.1. We've already changed the numbers, but we did not do yet the updates. Well, yes or no, we'll see. Basically, we've done everything we could do. That's to say, so updating, updating, sudo pacman minus s y y u. That's one thing. Everything is up to date. But come to think of it, I always have to do this. Compare the latest bash rc release. This is the newest version with the version you have. So this is a personal version. You may have changed things in here, so compare it, okay, and see what's different. And let's update it. This needs to go. So this is the real Bash RC. This is the one that's working. The thing that was here is also a locomotive. SL is a nice application to show a locomotive in a terminal. It's one. It's in the fun script of Arco. Linux Nemesis. So that needs to go. All this is no more and is replaced with updates. And update is sudo pacman minus syyu. 
when we were teaching about VirtualBox, we could share things between host and guest. And this is a thing that's a little bit too difficult to remember. So I made a VBM, an alias for it. So that's if you want to share things between VirtualBox and the host. And that's it. Then we say quit. He asks to save. I say, yeah, save please. And now the bash RC is kicking in. So the thing, uh, the things that have been changed in here are functional when you log back in, of course. All right, that's checked. And why is that checked? Because of this alias. I will be using it more and more to show you guys that update is Arch and Arco update. All right, and this one, if that's done, then this one is only AOR, and voila, there are things to update. So these are the 7% in the graph a little bit uh, earlier on, and there's new hello icons, Git that needs to be processed, Pulse Audio, Sati icons are new from 6 to 9, Speed Touch is new, which is out by the way, in the next ISO. So things, packages that are no longer in the Arch repo and that move to the AOR, they are not on the next ISO. These things will differ a little bit, like this one as well. We'll see it later. And all the rest needs its time to install. So we wait for the AOR packages to install now. Okay, the installation has finished. Let's do this one time once more. And then we see there is a little orphan there. What I've done on all my machines is, okay, get rid of this thing. If you don't need it, then you can delete it. So this is out. So to recap recapitulate, we have the update command, all from Arch and Arco, done, is up to date. We have this command that's now still relying on Yahoo, and that's updating everything from AUR. If these two have been have, have been done, then you're up to date. You are currently at the situation of 11th uh, July 2018. We are basically now working on 6.9.9.1, but there are some new things. There are some things we should discuss and some things to change. And we're not, we are thinking already some things have not been changed yet but let's go over them one by one so we don't forget anything so we have this wonderful information website where all the information is about Arch Linux do read about these uh, this page because it contains a lot of information about who we are what we do what the intention is and of course if you can and willing you can donate us so we can continue our work Lots of faces in here and we are con going to continue to explore other desktops. People keep asking for more desktops and we will we'll provide them in due time, of course. Do read the frequent asked questions and the known issues because those are the things you always ask. A lot of people ask, of course, the same questions. That's why we also urge you to come to the forum. When we help one person, then we help maybe 20 persons in a month's time with the same answer and on facebook and on mail it gets uh, lost so facebook is the place there is also discord where you can uh, chat with us and uh, exchange ideas and uh, sometimes i give you some work to test and find out and stuff like that so it's a nice interaction it's very creative it's well has been very um, educational for me as well so that's nice. Nice to know. Do check it out and then find all the information. So in due time, I'll make a new article here. Article Linux release 6.9.9, yeah, point one, and uh, Article Linux D. But before that, I have prepared everything. So I don't, um, well, just write an article. It's already here. It's in the beta. So let's go over what have we done in June. 
and July. Let's just go from the top. It's a bit strange maybe, but let's go just follow one by one. There is a new logo from Fanner 98 has been included in the logos of the Conkeys. Okay, fine. So what does, does that mean? It means that somewhere in your system, config, there are Conkeys and in the Conkeys we have images and somewhere in there we have this Arco Linux fractal PNG that you can use for any uh, practical use, I don't know, but also for the Conkey for instance, right? So thank you Fanner for your for sharing and your creativity. The font display has been improved and resized. Uh, maybe you don't see it yet. Did we reboot already? I don't think so. So a little bit bigger from 10 to 11. Not a biggie. This is quite essential, but it's um, it's more an, an engine matter, you know? Like you drive a, a car from A to Z, uh, you don't care what, what the engine is, what it does. So Arch ISO is what we're going to discuss in phase six when we say let's make an ISO from scratch. This is the thing. This is the template to create it. So there was an update and lots of well scripting and building has been changed and for the better I suppose since um, well we do not uh, support 32 bits anymore and it can it shows in the new arch ISO it's only 64 since we had this issue I don't know end end of June for VirtualBox that it did not comply well that the VirtualBox and the kernel and the VirtualBox uh, applications or add-ins didn't work anymore we moved to vmware and we found that we could improve it even more that we added a configuration file so that vmware knows what resolution well this resolution that it um, applies this resolution direct directly to full screen when booting so that's a good thing for many of us this is a standard resolution on the big screens not so much maybe on the laptops but even so there. We've added just in the nick of time, and we added a new repo, and that's an interesting concept. We had this um, um, update, this, um, well, was it today, was it yesterday? An update of lib C++, and we had, um, well, troubles. We had uh, issues with PGPs, keys, and so on. And then we got the idea, hey, um, this application Discord is the way we discuss with you and between the members and the core team, etc. It's an, a great channel to just uh, get to know people and stuff like that. So um, maybe we should make a separate repo and put all the packages for Discord in there. And that's what we did. So there is a new repo added for third party software so not Arch Linux it's not um, Arch it's it's just for uh, AWAR things probably most of the things huh? we'll see it's anyway not from us huh? third party says it all so that's one of the things you need to do otherwise you don't call yourself 6.9.1 we need to go to pacman.conf pacman.com here it is and then let's open it up and then we have to add a new repo you copy paste these lines here and we've baptized it third party like so three party and here also underscore three party save it password in it typos I forgot an O here and the rest seems okay okay safe so we have now a website and website on github here you see the URL and you'll get information from there as well how do we know that? Control Alt T. Try to do another update. And you'll see a few more lines. 
we have these lines now in here. Now the fun stuff is, like we say, this Discord is the way to discuss with people. Okay, then we just can now say pseudo pacman minus s Discord. And it's not coming anymore from the AOR, which takes, well, a long, very long time for those who know um, that, that have built it in the past, it takes a long time. You just time how long this takes now. It's installed. Almost, Eric. Now. Stop the timing. So this is it. Uh, this is a great improvement. We have to install Discord all the time on our machines. And uh, so this is really uh, super fast. And that's great. All right. So that's the new repo for things that we need to have that's bugging us because of the installation time, the building time. Anything that we don't like can go in there and it's going to get installed as fast as this one. So that's the new repo. Fine. We've done the fractal PNG. We've seen it. NeoFetch has been upgraded. We stopped, talked about that and we've fixed it already. The logos have been changed. They're all now 300 by 300, which is nicer if you ask for the logo. Now the logo, why not include it, Eric? The logo. So some of the people say would like to have actually back this, this white thing or this blue thing or some, some of the colors. Because now it's this, right? Fine. Um, all the way down, way back up and to this block this block of colors and all that. I'm going to go for the white one, save. And I'm going to say that the backend is for images and not ASCII anymore. Save. All right, so those are the changes. It's also explained in another tutorial, but hey. And now it doesn't work. And we've reported it to GitHub because it's this uh, new version. Eh? It's, uh, it's, it's changed a lot of things and one of the things he has issues of has forgotten I don't know what the reason is doesn't matter but we know how to fix it just for now delete.config and try again and then it'll show up so he'll fix the, in the next updates we'll find a fix for that so it can stay config.conf but for now right it's a good thing to know oh what did I do all right, control alt T. So, new fetch done. I didn't even explain more. Oh yeah, the zero zero script. That's a very good thing, a very good idea. Since we are growing and we have now 10 desktops, we end up in desktop environments where we say, hey, I would like to have the LTS kernel. Well, where's the script? Oh yeah, it's the script is normally in config pop, 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 open box open box scripts but then we were on bsp wm or on uh, kde plasma or on anything else and of course this folder open box script was not uh, there so we made a new folder dot bin the bin for binaries in here is the fun stuff we can always Use the fun stuff, let's do the fun stuff. Fun stuff is nice too. The space invaders. Yeah, the space invaders, here they are. And there's the sysinfo. And every month we promise to add another thing to it. Right? Those are for the scrots, the screenshots. But the main is what we have in open box. We advise you that if you build something, oh, it's a nice wallpaper. I'm gonna put this to the favorites. I'm gonna keep this one. So, copy to the favorites. Voila. So, use all cores, make package.conf here, and it's an application or a script that says, let's find out how many cores this guy has, and let's use all cores. If you build and, and, and compress and all that, things from AOR, then you are using one core. If you have eight cores, that's a pity. It could have gone a lot faster 
and there are articles also about that on articlelinux.com how much faster okay so we have these scripts in here for now the use all course which is the thing you should do first after installation and then maybe you need LTS kernel depending on your software on your hardware you say no I'm gonna go for LTS kernel and if you install it then later on you can delete it so it's so easy and you just check inside what is needed but this is handy right it's all in here it's in the binary folder and these things you can address them anywhere uh, they will work from everywhere why I'm teaching I'm teaching bash RC because we said that the path here it is if there is a home bin then put home bin to the path so basically you can start your space invaders from anywhere or your kernel LTS from anywhere that's the point right don't need to navigate to the new bin just works from everywhere good 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 what else there's a new alias VBM true when making tutorials about um, VirtualBox sharing a folder between the host and the ghost uh, the host and the guest <laughs> we have added VBM somewhere here it is you see this line sorry but I can't recall that that's the way to mount this folder inside VirtualBox I rather remember VBM VirtualBox I don't know what it is mount eh? VirtualBox mount that's the idea and that I cannot remember but this one I can't remember so a shortcut an alias okay new config and logos for NeoFetch I've shown you those the fun script I've shown you that as well are there doubles in here yeah those are just the pictures right okay and then lots of things have changed regarding and that's again the under the hood management and changes all these images all these um, the look for every article Linux installer has been changed for all um, uh, Calamaris sorry all um, article Linux B has been changed so that's it's a lot of work has gone into it I believe more than a week has gone into changing all these elements which in the end you don't see anything uh, in the end result but it's the greeter it's the installation is the live DVD that has been improved so new improving calamares with lesser applications packs both if possible and so on so um, yep behind the screen work okay we're using now Calamara 3.2.0 so we're following not always following straight away but waiting or and see if everything is stable and then okay going ahead with uh, the newer versions what did we uninstall we decided to look more to the size of our ISO we said dark table is out also since uh, LibreOffice is no longer supported it's no longer online on, on the ISO I mean it is supported of course but it's not on the ISO nor do we need the spelling and the hyphen and things then as well there's an article on articlelinux.com how to install LibreOffice from A till Z Packer is no longer supported it seems they seem to have stopped the development has been halted so we're not using it anymore this point in time we are using Trizen we are waiting what's going to happen with Yahoo as well so take a look at the AUR helpers and it's maybe an, the, a task for the holiday AUR helper ArchWiki I send you all to this one and you find out you experience what AUR helper is good and there are quite a few that are still here in the active list and um, we'll have to choose one of them maybe Trizen is in here so that's okay but it's always feels good to have another one and EA is also something that you could experiment with so 
any of these active ones will do. So that's just for the AOR packages. None. Okay. Speed touch has gone. That means that um, at some point in time they said let's remove this package speed touch from the arch repos and move it to the AOR repos. That's quite important for us because if we make an ISO and it doesn't find the package, well, everything blocks, everything stops. So um, that one is out in 6.9.1. And then some of the things that we had have, have been moved to a um, fun script. So um, script that's in here, script C this article, installing fun stuff for the terminal. So if you say, hey, this looks something for me, let's scroll down so you can take a look. This is lolcat. Lolcat, these colors here, bash pipes, all different kinds of bash pipes. Python Pyball makes the colors to, to fit, well, it follows the colors from the wallpaper and fits everything else to these colors. The ASCII Aquarium, Loch Ness was coming by, I said, make a screenshot. Cool retro term, C Matrix, Kava, working with Spotify. Kind of equalizer thingy and then curse radio music in a terminal and lots more because i did not take pictures from everything but they are all are here all are all here oh my can't speak anymore anyway <clears throat> i have git cloned i have um, taken control h i've taken my github i'm going to put it in the folder data Open terminal. Oh, git clone was already there. That's what you need to do. You get all the packages. You can take a look at all this, but it's not the point of the tutorial. I'm just going to point to this one. 700 fun apps for screenshots. And that one I am going to install just for the kicks of it. So we have something to show later. So that's um, that's done. That's being installed. And I guess we are let's scroll up here. Fun, fun, fun. The fun script. And that's it. Here we draw the line 6.8.3. Now what else should I tell you? This well the thing you should know is that in our eyes there is one ISO there's the Arco Linux ISO then we scrip, scrape everything off and strip everything off then we get an Arco Linux D ISO and then we say let's take Arco Linux ISO and now decide to install just XFCE just Openbox just i3 just Plasma just awesome bspwm gnome so it's all one and the same iso basically in essence so the things i've said apply to these of, of course as well but rewriting it all over again i'm not going to do that but i am going to mention what's specific about these uh, two versions so well, three versions eh? arc linux arc linux d arc linux b we have three major projects so the same applies here in Arch Linux D at the third party uh, repo. So we can install Discord, for instance, very rapidly. We've compared, so we always compare between Arch Linux and Arch Linux D. We've improved the uh, installer, as you see, this is the new look to install Arch Linux D. We have also NeoFetch that's new, so when you pop in this dark window, which is called the terminal or TTY, you do see something. You do see a pop-up from NeoFetch. A little bit nice, right? And then we un uninstalled 
B-Touch, we've just done that. And then, well, yeah, then under the hood work, eh? if we want to have a new install for each element, for Awesome, for KDE, for uh, BSBWM, for Cinnamon, etc., etc., all these things have been made uh, for every possible testo. So that's the under the hood thing that you don't see in which well we invested about a week's time as work. So all these special desktops, the 10 desktops we have till now, all these desktops uh, can be, um, well, will get a special kind of look. So these are the guys we have now. Awesome, BSB, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, so 10 ways to show you uh, the look of, um, well, the installer. Anything else? Set that, speed touch, okay. Here we draw the line again, which leaves us at the biggest part of our work. The most time in June was spent on the Arch Linux B beta edition. So we had a project a vision that we start with an Arch Linux ISO, and then you can build it yourself. That's the B, the B is build it yourself. Your Arch Linux, you can build that too. It's all up to you. Build your own ISO, that's the vision, no changes. This means the Arch Linux 6.9.1 with some changes. Oh, and Steam, oh, and Steam, put it in there, build it yourself. You have Steam on it and all the different desktop environments. So, a lot of time went in those, figuring out, making them, comparing it, improving it, testing it again, building it again. I mean, um, a lot of time. Plasma took also quite an amount of time because Plasma is not a small desktop environment. It's lots of things to tweak. And for me, lots of things to learn. Um, so we had, an, an, well, we've done lots of um, weeks I've worked on Plasma uh, just to get to know the theming and the settings and all that. And then of course, after knowing all that, you have to put it on the ISO as well. So it needs to work. So that's our welcome here, our Linux B Plasma. And then it's indeed something to tell you in this video. We use XFCE as a delivery system to install the desktops. I've put it here, I've put it on the picture because people were saying, hey, what's this? I thought I had downloaded Plasma and I see, I don't know, some kind of XFCE. Right. Since we start from Arch Linux, which has XFCE Openbox i3, we have a basis, we have an, a means to deliver it. And that's what we do. We reuse the ISO of Arch Linux, which means its maintainability is 100%. You know, it's the same ISO that's applied on Arch Linux D and all the 10 Arch Linux Bs. It's the same ISO and then we change a little bit. We will not install XFC, we will install Plasma this time. And that's what we do. So in the live DVD, you won't see anything. Just just a pass through. Do your settings. Next, 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 next. Install and up. You have BSPWM. You have awesome i3, etc. So again, so you really know it. XFC is a delivery system. Okay. Here as well, we were faced with a lot of work because we needed different calamares, different installer, because we need different images and different packages and so on and so on. It's rather technical, but as well configuration. Do we need a different configuration for GNOME as for Plasma, as for Openbox and i3, etc.? Some of them we could reuse, but some of them we said, no, no, no. We need to make another package, a new package for the configuration files for GNOME, configuration files for Plasma, and so on. So a lot of time I went in the teaming and tweaking and finding out what not to do and what to do. So it resulted in a bunch of files, a bunch of Arch Linux 
uh, elements. And we can have a look, and it's also maybe interesting to put it in the video. Repositories, take a look. This is what we have built until now. And these are all the Arco Linux things. And not everything is installed on Arco Linux Info. Uh, Arco Linux, uh, standard Arco Linux, you know. So these things will be used on Plasma, on Mate, on Gnome, on Cinnamon, etc. And here you have the repo third party, which in this point in time only includes Discord and the libc++, right? So that's an easy way and an interesting way to figure out, hey, where is, where is it coming from? And uh, Pamac is there to assist you and to help you. Did I close my website? I think I did. But I was, I was at my end, I think, just checking again. And I believe I was almost there, if not completely there. So this is what we did in June and July. At this point in time, I don't think I have anything else to add. There is one thing that comes to mind that I could add, and that is the following. Um, let's go to Article Links Hello again. And if you go to the download, on the source forge, you will find this one, you will find Arco Linux and Arco Linux D. And all the Arco Linux B ISOs are in this place, except. And we have for your convenience, and of course, also because of this Arch ISO, there was a new Arch ISO update, remember? So we needed to build everything again to figure out is this working, is it not working, change it, etc. etc. So all of these guys are the newest version of um, Awesome, etc. etc. So they you can download those as well. And who's winning? Plasma these days. So take a look at these elements. It means that you have a working system in I don't know 10, 15 minutes, everything is installed, and you just learn and cruise around and have fun with it. That's basically what we do. Learn. Have fun and enjoy. Cheers.